Hi there, I'm Eitan, and welcome back to the Wix of Wiz. Today we're going to be talking about how to embed third-party code written as HTML, CSS, and JavaScript into your Wix website using the HTML element. And this can be either code that you wrote yourself, or it can be some third-party code that you got from something like CodePen, or a third-party service provider, or even something that you had ChatGPT code up for you, which is what you see right here in this very cool maze. Uh, so if you want to learn how to do that and more, let's get started. So the way to embed anything on your Wix site or your Editor X site will be first step to go to Add Elements. And then you're going to look here inside of the elements for something called Embed Code. And you'll see here that you have three options. So Embed HTML, Embed a Site, and Custom Element. And we're going to be using Embed HTML. And this basically allows you to write pure HTML and have this HTML displayed inside of this HTML widget or iframe on your Wix website. Uh, if you're not familiar with HTML, CSS, or JavaScript at all, then you might want to just skip like one minute ahead into the next part of the video. But I think that kind of seeing what I'm going to do now will give you a general idea of what's happening behind the scenes when you embed code from another site into your website. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write some pure HTML here, and I'm going to demonstrate how this kind of creates a mini web page here within your iframe. So first of all, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to add a very simple paragraph tag here. So the opening paragraph is just a P, the opening tag, sorry, is just a P, and then the closing tag has this kind of dash before it. And here I'm just going to write, hello world. And then if I go ahead and I click update over here, it will update my code. And this is just displaying a very plain HTML hello world here. And since the entire web is built on HTML, essentially, uh, you can pretty much build entire websites or whatever you want inside of these widgets. Um, and as you can see now, this is kind of ugly. Uh, so it just says, hello world. And it's Times New Roman. And it's like up on the upper left side. Uh, so if we wanted to change that, what we would have to do is add style. And this is typically done using CSS files, but we can also just embed styles directly into HTML, either using inline styles or by adding a style tag inside of our HTML. And now we can write plain old CSS right here in the style tag. So for example, if I select all of our paragraphs and then I say that their color should be red, then I can go ahead and update. And you will see, well, now it says forbidden. Uh, so don't, get, don't worry if it says forbidden here. Just make sure that you go into either preview mode or you go onto the live site. And you'll see what's actually inside of your uh, widget, which is this, hello world in red. OK, so don't get startled when it says forbidden. Uh, yeah, OK, good. Now you can see it just says hello world here. And except for just adding styling, we could also add functionality using JavaScript. And in order to do that, we would add a script tag over here. And inside of here, we can write plain old vanilla JavaScript. So for example, if I wanted to select this paragraph, then I could say const paragraph paragraph uh, equals to document dot query selector and then p and again if you don't know any javascript then you won't understand what i'm writing here uh, but just to give you a general idea of how a script is added in uh, then we can go ahead and click update whoops actually you won't see anything if i just do that so what i'll do is i'll say paragraph Um, dot inner HTML equals to I'm changed. Okay, so this should change the text within our HTML uh, widget. So I'm going to go, sorry, within our paragraph here. So I'm going to go ahead and click update. 
And again, you might not see this on the editor, but if I go into preview mode, then you can see here that it says I'm changed. So this is how you add in a script. Okay, so that should hopefully give you a good enough idea of how the code needs to be structured here in order for this to work. So now let's give some other examples of how you might do this and how you can embed third party uh, widgets and HTML into your uh, into your website. So as you can see, the editor here is really inconvenient. Um, you cannot really write anything past kind of this point. It kind of disappears and the scrolling becomes really hard. Um, so that's something that I think Wix could probably fix. Uh, but you can also really just design this widget in an external place and then just copy and paste your code in here. I think that's what it's designed for. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this over here. And I'm going to use a third-party platform called CodePen, uh, which basically allows you to style HTML, CSS, and JavaScript online and see what it looks like live. Uh, so I'm going to go here and create a new pen. Uh, but there's really, you can use a wide variety of IDs to do stuff like that. And I'm just going to paste what I had over here inside of this HTML. And here you can see it says, I'm changed. Okay, here you can see that you also have widgets for CSS and JavaScript, uh, because typically when you're building something on the web, you won't put everything in the HTML, but the CSS and the JavaScript will be built in separate files. Uh, here we have the HTML all built into one. And what we're gonna need to do if we want to use external sources on our website that weren't built as widgets, then we are going to need to know how to take JavaScript, CSS, and HTML, and combine them all into HTML to display on our website. So we kind of need to reverse engineer it. And in order to do that, I'm going to show you some other code pens that we have here on the site. So you can always just search here. So I'm going to search code pen for just cool <laughs> and find something cool that we want to put on our website. Okay, so I found this really cool uh, pickle rick maze game, which is basically this kind of maze. And we're going to embed this maze into our uh, website, OK? And the idea is that we need to take everything that we have over here and basically turn it into just HTML. And we're going to do that using the same thing that we did before, but just reverse engineer it. So what I'm going to do is here you can see that it's a full HTML file. So we have here HTML, we have head, and we have body. Uh, so what I'm going to do is that within the head, and I don't see the head closing tag here. Interesting. Anyways, over here in the head, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a style. And I'm going to close off that style tag. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to take all of this CSS and I'm going to put it here within this style. Uh, one small note is that here, you can see here it says SCSS. OK, that basically means that this is using uh, some kind of special additional language to CSS, to CSS that needs to be compiled down to CSS in order to use in this kind of vanilla HTML that I'm building. And in order to do that, you're going to have to use some kind of compiler Luckily, CodePen has that built in, so you can just say view compiled CSS, and then that changes it into regular uh, CSS compiled. So that also answers the question that we got here on our website uh, that this inspired this video, uh, which is recreating CodePen projects in Wix, and especially uh, how to address you know if there's Pug or Haml, which are similar ideas, but just for the HTML. And the way that those would be compiled is just by going over here and compiling them. Specifically, this is just plain HTML. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to select everything that we have here in the CSS. I'm going to click X. I don't know if I can click X, but I can go here and just paste it right over here. And then I'm going to go and get our JavaScript. And I'm going to put that over here right under the body. I'm going to write here a script, 
and I'm going to write a closing script tag. And then we can, and you can see here that there are some other scripts here as well. Um, so this specific um, project is also using jQuery, which is an external uh, JavaScript library. And it's very important that you put your script under these scripts. It could also go inside of the body here but it has to be under these additional scripts. Otherwise, whatever is written in here in this JavaScript is not gonna work, okay? So you're gonna wanna make sure to put those right under there. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna select all of this JavaScript and I'm gonna put it right here inside of the script tag. And then what I can do is just go ahead and select everything. I can, I can format this, so I can go format HTML just to make it nice and formatted because I won't be able to do that in Wix. And then what I can do is go ahead and select everything here click copy, go to my editor, and just paste it right over here inside of my um, widget. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click update. And now you can see here that our maze has, be, has been embedded into my Wix website, and I can adjust the size here, and I can go ahead and even go into preview and play with the maze, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead Click start, and yeah, I mean it's not so it's not so functional in terms of uh, oh I need to move the cucumber somehow. Yeah, I'm, oh you have to kind of drag it. Okay, if you're also in, embedding this on your site, then just know that you have to drag the cucumber. <laughs> uh, cool. So that's uh, kind of how to embed something uh, from CodePen or how to use CodePen to just style your own. Uh, HTML that you want to embed into your Wix website. Um, there are also some other options and some other cool ways that you can build stuff for your site. So let's talk about them. So one would be to use, you know, a third-party service. So this could be either a third-party service that offers their own widget or a site kind of like this Elf site, which is quite popular, which creates lots of different widgets uh, that are built to be embeddable into your site. And you can really just go ahead and let's say, I don't know, look for Google reviews widget. That's probably an, a very popular option. And then you can just continue with this template and go ahead and publish. And I mean, you can pay or not pay. I mean, if you don't pay, you can embed it in one website, one widget. Um, yeah, and you'll have ads or stuff like that. Obviously, I'm just demonstrating, so I'm not going to pay for anything at the moment. Uh, but if I continue here with the light, then I can go ahead and embed this code. And this is the, here you can just see it's quite simple. So this is just a script. And this is a div, which is, that's the HTML part. That's like, instead of the paragraph that I had. So this is a div. And it has a class which changes its style. Uh, and it's also, it's, probably also its JavaScript functionality. And basically, since this is built to be a widget, they've kind of condensed everything into this script, which they're loading from their website, and just this div. But if I go ahead and I copy this code, and I put it right over here instead of our nice little maze, so I'm just going to select everything, get rid of it, and embed this new code from Elf site, and go ahead and click Update, then this will change into our Google Reviews um, kind of widget. Okay, so that's how to embed, you know, some kind of code that's given to you by a third party. And if you're taking code from a third party and you're making changes to it, it's just important to make your changes kind of under the other uh, third party's script. So here you see that there's this script that's kind of being imported, and then you can add additional things to this embed widget if you want, um, but sometimes it could be quite hard to engineer if you can't see what's going on behind the scenes. Um, but you know, I could easily just add my own thing kind of into this widget by let's say going, I just accidentally X'd out my Wix website. Let me open it again and I will be right back. Okay, so now I'm back on the site and let's say I wanted to take this widget and I wanted to customize it. So I could let's say add above this what our customers say i could just add here you know h1 hello world and then close this off as an h1 and go ahead and 
click update right over here. And now it says forbidden, but if I go here into preview, then you'll see that we have our H1 and then the widget that we added. Uh, and we can use similar tactics to kind of manipulate other people's you know, HTML and stuff like that. So that's just kind of how you could do something like that. Um, you can also use ChatGPT to create you know, your own widget. So like, for example, um, create a cool maze using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Um, combine all the code into HTML. And let's see what ChatGPT comes up with for us. Awesome. So you can see here that it has the full HTML doc, and it's putting the style uh, inside the HTML like I did before. And then here we have just this div, which is the maze. And here we have the script tag, which I was talking about before, where um, kind of ChatGPT wrote out all of this Java, nice JavaScript. And then I can just go ahead and copy this code and go right over to my Wix website. And let's edit code and paste it right in there. Update. And this is the maze that <laughs> ChatGPT created. I don't know how it will work exactly, but we can. OK, cool, cool. <laughs> let's go into preview mode and see what's going on here. So. Yeah, so this is what ChatGPT thinks a maze is. I don't see, oh, okay, cool. This blue um, thing can move with the arrow keys. Awesome, and if I click this, yeah. So I guess the goal is to get from the blue to the green, but there's no kind of obstructions or anything. So yeah, this is just, I thought it would be cool to show how ChatGPT can create something like this that you could just put in your website in a second. Um, yeah, so that is how you would approach embedding um, things into your website. And just to recap what I showed you, so first I showed you how you can kind of write your own HTML, CSS, and JavaScript inside of style and script tags and create your own kind of widget. How I recommend using, you know, a third-party IDE like CodePen or even VS Code to write everything out first and style it and then only then embed it. Uh, I showed you how to take um, code that other people wrote, um, whether or not it is meant for an embed widget, and to compile that into something that can be easily embed into your website. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, then you can go ahead and leave them in the comments below. If you have any suggestions for future videos, then you can also go ahead and go to our website the wixwiz.com slash YouTube and make your suggestion over there or vote for other people's suggestions. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.